Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know at this moment. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. But as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest and practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and follow me on TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading, all of that information will be left in the description box below. Okay, Gemini. So you have been guided by a higher power. I am seeing that there's something that you have rejected or there's like an offer coming in, someone wanting to make you a love offer, express their feelings for you, but I feel like you're, you've are you been in this space of maybe feeling like something's just not, not going anywhere or feeling like um, you're being guided by a higher power to kind of... Uh, detach from this situation in order to find peace somewhere else and i feel like you were really caught off guard um defensive i feel like there's um there's somebody who has been where you feel like you've been kind of like attacked by this person yeah knight of swords at the bottom of the deck so someone was like um maybe aggressive with their communication and you weren't really expecting that something kind of happened really quickly in a conversation but you've been regaining your your independence and your your power your confidence with this queen of wands stepping into this energy of um taking back taking back your power finding motivation uh in the things that you like to do and also with this Queen of Swords, I feel like you are also stepping into this energy of like uh, using your, your logical side in order to make better decisions for you now and in the future. Uh, but there's someone around you showing up as an empress. So this could be a mother. This could be um, someone around you who you view as being very, very beautiful or handsome. Okay, abundant. Queen of Pentacles, someone around you who is very, very abundant and very stable. Someone new. Ooh, a new friend, a new relationship or potential for new love. So there's someone new here who's coming in, who's um, coming in at a time when you need it the most is what I'm hearing. And this is all being guided by a higher power. Okay. So I see you doing a lot of thinking right now. So a lot is going through your mind when it comes to um, maybe doing something that is that you're unfamiliar with or taking a risk to a completely new and different situation. And you're looking at it from a more logical perspective, thinking about uh, thinking about whether or not to take a leap of faith. I see you working away, so focusing on your work and working with others as well, bringing something uh, that is of value and the others see as value as well. So I feel like you're really focused on um, building and improving to, to yourself or either like a work community or someone around you that you you have what it takes to build something like a strong foundation here okay i'm seeing someone around you being very burdened by the way that things ended or the way that they that you and this person kind of left things off at so with this ten of wands it's been very very heavy on them and i do see that a part of them also feels maybe a little hurt or 
sees that they hurt themselves by hurting you, sabotaging things. Um, but now you have a whole new opportunity here. So something completely new, completely different. I see you thinking about like taking taking a risk towards. So tell me about this new situation or this this new person coming in here. I'm hearing school or, or like work. So maybe you meet this person through work or school. Okay, so this person, wow, they're, they're very, very much um, attracted to you, but in a very mature way. And I see them wanting to take action towards towards you, but um, they know what they want. They're very certain about about you about what they want with you and I'm hearing it's like from the beginning from the get-go they, they know this four of wands so whoever this new person is they're ready to make um, a commitment or you know get to know each other more and make us a more serious commitment take things to that next level like I'm I'm picking up this person is like literally thinking about like this could be the person that I marry or this is the person I want to end up marrying in the end so you got someone new here um, but you also have someone around you who's wanting to mend things and try to uh, maybe change a situation right now that where there's tension because they do look at a situation like you're like you're upset with them and like there's there's still some resentment or anger in this situation. Um, very stubborn though. So I do see this person is. Um, It's like they they want to they wish to mend things with you, but I'm hearing pride. It's like their pride is like holding them back from from actually doing that. And um, four of Pentacles. It's like they're they're holding on very tightly to like the past or whatever happened between you or where you guys left things off at. And I see them as like trying to focus on themselves right now and their self care at this moment. So I feel like they're very defensive and it's like they are they're not really um, listening to their to their to their intuition as well. But they're seeing you as um, somebody who is maybe more traditional than them. OK, and they see that. You could be going back and forth with a decision between maybe them and a new situation or a new beginning in love or a new friendship even. But where you're headed is going to bring you a lot of peace. Okay, so whoever, the, like whatever this new situation is coming into your life is going to bring you a lot of peace and just like mental clarity I feel like th there is going to be a leap of faith taken here taking some sort of risk in this situation um, doing something that's unfamiliar or completely different or even like even an unknown to you to some point but you end up taking action and finding peace through it you could be dating, celebrating with others. This is like eat, drink, and be merry. Surrounding yourself with your soul tribe. Feeling super at peace and happy. Ooh, king of cups energy and the world. This new chapter of your life that you're moving into is, is called peace, literally. And... I see you as like being very balanced emotionally, like you're getting to this very balanced place and it's coming from this very like logical decision that you that you're making that that you're seeing as like the best decision for you and that you've been thinking about for a while now. So it's like you had to reject. You had to reject um, a person. Or an offer coming from a person and this is all gonna be worth it in the end it's like you in the end you're being blessed 
with with more opportunities with this yang energy this is very masculine energy here so some of you um, could be connecting with a masculine or you are a masculine maybe connecting um, more with your masculinity or even if you're a female like you could be stepping into this yang energy where you're going out there you're doing things and you're taking action you're very determined um, and saying no to situations where you're feeling like you're being breadcrumbed or you're not being given what you deserve in a situation okay so what else does what else does Gemini need to know right now? Poised, confidence. Your confidence is, um, I see you regenerating a part of yourself um, that maybe you thought was like long gone. Where I see you um, coming back to like a part of yourself where you're very poised and you're very confident and you're very um, like certain and sure of the decisions and where you're headed. It's like in the end, you're going to be victorious and celebrated and renewed as well. You're being regenerated right now. You're being renewed by a higher power. So don't ever doubt that you are being guided right now by a higher power and everything that maybe you feel like even you were rejected by is just redirecting you to this to this peaceful place so spirit is really leading you right now to peace mental peace emotional peace like it's just spiritual peace just reaching this place of just a breath of fresh air honestly Okay, so let's see. I'm seeing the number 4, 52, 44, 23, 46, 48, and 1. Those numbers, they could possibly be related to birthdays. But I'm seeing a lot of 4s. So something about the number 4, maybe in the next 4 days to 4 weeks or even 4 months, you end up um, connecting with this this new person or this new friend or new situation or taking that risk and doing what you've been thinking about doing for a while now. Okay, so I am seeing the letters H, P, M, T, R, Y, N, Q, E. Those letters could be either in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.